Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome to episode 28 of the tactics game in Unity. We have a bug. Skip turn and on the opening turn you can select your character and move her around. This is happening because when we open the common menu we are not taking into account current round order. Because of that we can take action in the enemy turn. I think best course of action in this case is to disable control on the enemy turn altogether, because you will not be able to control anything within the enemy turn. In the round manager we want to disable player controls. So when the player conclude his turn and call next turn to give the turn to the enemy, we need to disable the mouse input. And when the enemy conclude his turn and give the turn to the player, we need to enable the player mouse input. If we simply disable mouse input, it should disable all the play input with exception of right mouse button bringing menu. It's ok, because until we have an AI, we need this menu to be able to skip the turn of the enemy. This is it. On the enemy turn we cannot do anything. Not gonna lie, I'm little happy how it turned out. Well done localized modular systems like this will allow us with just a few lines of code add or change functionality. We have a victory condition for the player. And now we want to introduce a transition between world map where player will be managing his squad and like modifying his parameters, stats, etc, etc. And the next mission the player wants to participate. Create a new scene called world map using basic URP preset. On this world map we will be selecting missions to complete. Create button. I will move it to be top left of the screen, but it doesn't matter really right now. When I press this button, we want to load the mission 1 map and play it. Create world map manager object. Create an add mission select component. Inside this component we will be loading the combat scenes. So, remember, essential combat scene is the main scene in the functionality of the combat and it must be loaded as a main scene all the time when your player must participate in the combat. When you type the name of the scene, make sure it is exactly the same name. And again, the scene must be always loaded for player combat to function. Remember that uh, for scene loading and scene management to function, you must import the scene uh, management library and type the name of the scene. Make sure it is exactly the same name. Then you load a battle stage on which we will have our battle. But the name of the battle stage will be passed as a parameter, because while essential scene is always present for our combat to function, the battle stage will be changing. 
So we will be passing the name of the battle stage as a parameter and loading the battle stage additively to the essential scene, making them coexist at the same time. In the editor, set the button to switch to the combat stage 1. For our systems to function, we must set the scenes into the build setting. Now let's test this. If we launch mission 1, it will load the combat essential and combat stage 1. And we can easily change the first combat stage and our changes will be applied when we launch the stage. Good. So imagine you have multiple combat stages and each of them have its own environment or objectives. For demonstration, let's make a new stage for your game. Let's duplicate the combat stage 1 and make combat stage 2. Inside, let's make a few changes to the environment. And then add this mission to the build. Add button for this second stage. And let's test this. And as you can see, Different stage has been loaded. So you can easily add new missions into your game. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. Good. We can select and load the mission from the world map. How about we make our player be able to win the combat and go back to the world map. I want you to notice how easy it is to debug or work with the combat stage. Simply launch combat essential scene and add stage you want to debug additively. And this is it. Now inside the victory condition manager, when we are victorious, we want to open some panel which will allow us to go back to the world map. Let's make method called victory. And make a field for the panel. Inside victory method show the panel. Make the panel on the scene. Add some text to congratulate player. and add button which if we press we will go back to the world map.
Let's put return to world map process for now into the victory condition manager. And in the new method, call scene manager and load world map. Let's test this. It works. Now let's test if it will work if I launch the game and try to win the combat stage by defeating the enemies. I forgot to add the victory panel reference. Everything works. But we have a small issue. We need to disable the control because when I'm victorious, I still can select my character and control them around. Not a problem, simply reference the mouse control in the uh, victory condition script. and disable them. There is still an issue that it kept the last character selected, but don't worry, in the next episode we will be expanding in the on the control scheme. Good, this is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave a comment below. If you want to support me further, link to the Patreon in the description. Special thank you to The Soul Hashdu and Stormbreaker9000 for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.